hello and welcome uh, to this video in this video i am going to show you how you can uh, create this kind of as verification pop-up on your shopify store like uh, when i am uh, refreshing the site you can see uh, showing this and uh, no other information is showing and uh, if i click on no then it will show a message you can customize this you can customize the logo background this text and also this text also you can change the button text and color and then if i uh, click on yes you can see the website is showing now if i again refresh you can see uh, the is very verification pop-up will not show anymore so to add this uh, verification pop-up on your shopify store the first step you uh, should follow uh, you have to log in the shopify dashboard and then come here and edit code and then we have to add a section add new section call it as verification just copy this name you can remove everything from here and copy and paste the code i will provide uh, the link in the description and comment box so you have to copy all the code and paste it on the sections make sure you have removed all the existing code and then copy and paste and now save it and the next step is you need to open theme.liquid file under layout and find here control f and if you use mac then command f find here content for and press enter you can see content for layout so this is the main tag and this is the header tag so we have to uh, add this section before header so let's click copy this and paste it before and since this to our section name so this is our section name exactly the same age age verification make sure the name is correct or you can click here edit copy and just paste it here so now if i go to customize you will see is verification option here mm, i don't see the option something may be wrong it's verification all right it should be shown there oh here is a mistake i made it should be section not sections so it should be section and if i refresh now uh, you can see the is verification is showing so if i click here as verification and uh, you can see here is enable and disable option so i can add a logo so let's add a logo so here is the logo you can make it even bigger so i am not change the logo to this one and then these are the button settings so it's uh, black uh, let's change the label color button i'm making it white 
so you can see it's showing but uh, I'd, I want to make the button a transparent color so just remove the color and you can see so then make it black all right and again button hover setting button hover background color black hover border color i will make it black and the hover level it should be white so now if i hover over you can see and here is the heading you can change this heading and this is the description you can change the description from here no no this is the uh, second heading like when uh, someone click no uh, it will show this text and this is the description also you can change the button settings yes go or something else you can type there and this is the sections background color so you can obviously change the background color to mess with your and this is the text color So put it a good color. Just for showing you and save it. Now if I view the code or view the website, you can see it's showing fast. So if I know, come back when your legal tricking is and if I yes, it's showing the website and uh, this is only showing when uh, you will browse uh, from regular browser but uh, if uh, google a uh, crawl bot or uh, being crawl bot uh, requesting or crawl the page it will not show i have added that setting uh, on the code so i hope uh, this video will be helpful for you thank you